Jacob, invisible chronic pain can be frustrating when there are few options for treatment. In this Health Beat 4, I share with people living with fibromyalgia what they can do to ease it. When you go to the doctor, they ask, where does it hurt? For people living with fibromyalgia, the answer is everywhere. The chronic condition is also hard to diagnose due to the fact there isn't an exact test and no known cause. We have no blood test for it. We have no imaging test. Typically, everything comes back normal. And that can be really hard for patients to understand, well, what's going on if everything looks fine? What's challenging is it's more so in the central nervous system. And so there have been some studies that have used MRIs that there's a part of the brain that kind of controls your pain center that actually lights up more in patients that have fibromyalgia compared to those that don't. Um, it's all experimental, so of course insurance does not cover those types of studies. People with fibromyalgia will live with chronic pain, fatigue, depression, and headaches. The good news is that it can be managed once diagnosed. The hard part about fibromyalgia is there's not one medicine that really takes the pain away. It takes attacking it from different areas in order to help people feel better overall. Next one we talk about is actually exercise. When they study fibromyalgia, exercise is the number one treatment that helps people feel better overall but it's very strategic. This is not start training for a marathon. That's way too much too fast. This is, we're gonna go for a walk for five minutes. It can be frustrating to not be believed about your pain. Dr. Delaney Nelson says to visit your primary care physician to get recommended to a rheumatologist. Claire Bradshaw, KTIV News 4.